Welcome everybody, I'm of course CM Puma, and what we are seeing here is the SWF roster draft. That's right, before Capital Combat and while we wait for people to get their, stat, their stats updated on their cause, we are going to have our draft. Now one thing about your call stats, uh, some people seem to be a little confused. I created a DM on Twitter with everybody involved um, in SWF as far as I know. Showed them a little video on what you could do with your stats to update them and make sure that they are going to work here in SWF. Now your overall, when you it shows CM Puma overall, it has to be 85. That has to stay at 85. But the other, the stats individually, they can be anything. So if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. I'll add it in here right now. So say your person is CM Puma. He's seven foot. You know he's not springboarding or he's not top rope diving. Those things are set to zero. He's not going to be super fast because he's seven foot two. This this speed has come down. Or you know you're Leo McKay. You're light. You might possibly springboard. You know, you're bruising. You're the bruiser kind of, so your strength might be up. You know, who knows? Who knows? So go into your stats. Make some changes of things. Can be zero. Now, one that I think can be zero for everybody is mic performance because we add those things in later during the shows. They're not actually going to help in, in the show. So that mark make that zero for everybody. Um... So, if I want to make CM Puma, he is a high flyer. His aerial uh, distance, his aerial attack, his springboard, his top rope diving, his speed, his agility, all those things are going to be higher up where the strength, his arm power, um, you know, things like that are going to be his submission uh, 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 defense or you want your guy to be super submissive, uh, m making him a, a submission beast. Crank that bitch up to 100. But every your stats still have to work out to where your overall at the, at the roster screen says 85. So go into your stats, make those changes, update them, um, especially for you guys that are on the pay-per-view. Jay Wolf, Bruiser Brad, um, Calypso and Kid Hades, Leo McKay and Vice, um, Siler Jordan, Will Steele, uh, Tyler Adams, Alex Corzo and Hunter King. Um, there's a couple of other guys in a fatal four-way. Ryan Riley, uh, Crane, um, Ryan Adams. There's a, in, you know, you guys, since you're on the pay-per-view, go in there. Um, I sent you a thing on Twitter. Check it out. Update your stats. Duke Zendo is the other one in that fatal four-way. He has gotten his to me already. Make sure you go in there and change those stats because if not, guys like Jay Wolf, who has already turned his stats in, where you know his um, aerial attacks and speed are down, but his strength is up. He's going to dominate, and a lot of and a lot of guys and gals who uh, don't update their stats are either going out of SWF or they're going to be losing a lot just because of the sheer stat difference. So get those calls in with those updated stats now. So what we are going to do, as you can see here, we've got the names of everybody, uh, all the men anyway. We're going to do one for the ladies as well here on the roster. Teams are going to be drafted as a team, not individually. The Tijuana family, Alex and Marco Corzo. The Fallen Kingdom, Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black. We've got Aggression, Dino D and SDC. James Gaines and Jesse Newman. They are a new team and new to SWF. Sons of Carnage. James Lanza and William Parker don't have a name yet, but they formed a, a quick bond on Twitter earlier uh, yesterday, and now they are a tag team here. Lance Romance and Ryan Riley, hashtag Psycho Romance. Hounds of Havoc, Mahati Khan and Mateo, they are also new. We've got Wayne Level and Vice, the Cleaners. Now I have two more teams coming in. One team is going to be debuting at the pay-per-view. Another team coming in a little later than that. I'm going to also start a poll on Twitter to see if you guys think uh, where each show has their main title and mid-card title, but should one show have tag team titles and the other have women's titles, or whichever show the woman the women get drafted to, and I was going to have the tag team. I think I'm going to split them now that I think about it. 
Okay, we're gonna split them. We're gonna split them. So all the teams will be drafted to one show. All the women will be on another show. And that's that. So let's do this. Let me write this down so I don't forget it. All the teams will be moving over to Rebellion. So we're gonna have Alex and Marco Corzo on Rebellion, Fallen Kingdom, of course. All right, so let's uh, let's take these guys out. They're already gonna be drafted to Rebellion. And we'll have the women on Uprising. Let's get these guys out of here. Bam. All right. So that is going to do it. Now, we are... Oh, man. Should I not have done that? Should I not have done that? How are we going to do this, guys? So we draft these guys over to Rebellion... And that's a ton of people already on one show. Um, let me see here. So that's 14 people plus the other two teams. That's 18 people on that show. That show's going to be all tag teams. God dang it. All right. I, th I think you get drafted where you get drafted, and you just happen to be on both shows. That's how that's going to work. And the women's title will do the same. The women will go back and forth. That's just this guy what's going to have to be. Here we go. First name on the list. Getting drafted to Rebellion. It is Leo McKay. Leo McKay getting drafted. He's number one pick of Rebellion. We're going to remove his name from the list. Hit go. Number one pick for Uprising. It is going to be Crane. The new, one of the newcomers here in SWF. Crane and Leo McKay are off the board. Moving right along. We're going to do this until it is over with. J Primetime Green. Oh, J Prime, Primetime Green. Excuse me. He is been drafted to Rebellion. Moving from the list. Now, moving on to Uprising. Who is going to be next? Is it going to be a team? Or is it going to be a single person? It is nobody. What the hell? All right. We'll keep going. Moving along. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Moving to Uprising. It is James Gaines and Jesse Newman. These guys form the Sons of Carnage. They are now on Uprising. Moving along. Pick number three for Rebellion. It is going to be Aggression. Dino D and SDC are moving over, or I should say staying on Rebellion. Remove them from the list. Keep this thing going. Pick number three for Uprising. It is going to be Brett Storm. Now, I, I'm going to say this. Moving to the new show is probably going to be a good thing. Um, if we can split the roster up, Eli Robledo going to Rebellion. Um, if we can split this roster up because we got so many people, this is going to be good for everybody involved. I really think that, um, assuming everybody gets their stats in. Pick number four, Tyler Adams going to Uprising. Remove him from the list. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Now, how if the champions get drafted, I'm not sure how that's going to work. Again? With this blankness, get out of here. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Um, I might just have to automatically put the champions um, on on a Rebellion for now. Ryu Takeshi. We haven't seen a whole lot of him. He is drafted to Rebellion. Lots of people still on this list going through. Duke Zenda, the money man. He is going to Uprising, and I believe we're going to have a tournament for that Uprising Heavyweight Championship and Television Championship. If you haven't seen them, go check out the video that I posted yesterday. Go check out the website, SWF, or excuse me, SWFederation.com. 
Mason Foster, the leader of the Fallen Kingdom, he has been drafted to Rebellion. Moving along here. Here we go. Who's going up? Uprising. It is Jay Wolf. Jay Wolf, the seven foot two monster, going over to the new show and Uprising. Number seven, James Lanza, William Parker. You guys are going to be staying on Rebellion. Come up with a tag team name. We will get you guys. Y'all are going to be in that tag team tournament, that's for sure. The screen turns pink here. Havoc. He um, he defeated his his opponent on the last episode, and oof, I think it was Tyler Adams. Or excuse me, it was Ryan Adams, and and he beat him quite handily at that. Pick number eight for Rebellion. Evelyn Reeves. Evelyn Reeves uh, started a little riff with Leo McKay, but Leo McKay shut that down pretty pretty handily before starting his thing up with Vice. Next up, Youngblood. He is going to Uprising. Alright, number 9. The ninth pick here for Rebellion. Look at these names. Still some names to go through here. Michael Draven. Now, Michael Draven uh, made his debut on an episode of um, Showdown, which we're still going to have. And he was defeated by Malcolm Black. Here we go. Next up, number nine for Uprising. It is the Tijuana family. Alex Corzo and Marco Corzo. If I'm pausing, I apologize. I'm writing these things down here. Rather, I'm putting them on my Excel sheet. All right. Tenth pick. Here we go for Rebellion. I guess I should hit the button. Go. Go. Number 10. Is it going to be... All right. We have the team of the Hounds of Havoc. Mahati Khan and Mateo. They are newcomers to SWF and our tag team division. I love that you can remove the name. Look at that. You remove the name. It's happening there. Oh, boy. Calypso, our elite Heavyweight champion for Rebellion has just been drafted to Uprising. I'm thinking I'm going to have to veto that. And because he is the champion, automatically put him on Rebellion. The next two picks will go to Uprising. Assuming that one of our champions doesn't get picked. Brad, uh, Bruiser Brad, now that is breaking up. Not really. But breaking up uh, the Fallen Kingdom. Mason Foster over on Rebellion. Bruiser Brad and Malcolm on Uprising. Because they're a tag team, they will move back and forth, of course. The next pick for Uprising, it is going to be none other than Wheel... Wheel? Wheel Steel. That's a good uh, a good spot there for, for Will Steel, I think. Coming up next... Hashtag Psycho Romance, Lance Romance, and Ryan Riley. Now, when you're drafted to these shows as a tag team, you will be on both shows. There's a possibility you will have a singles matchup on that other show as well. So, The Cleaners, Vice, and Wayne Level get drafted to Uprising. We are crossing names off of our list fairly quickly here. Oh, I guess I'm going to hit the button again. And here we go. The next pick. This is for Rebellion. Kid Hades. Oh, he's going at it with Calypso at the pay-per-view. These two guys have been going at it for a bit here. Hunter King. He will be headed over to Uprising. Not too many names left. Just a couple of names left. Here we go. Tyler Jordan has been drafted to Rebellion. So we only had to change one, one champion. And there's two names left. Ryan Adams and Philip Young. Philip, Philip Young going to Uprising. And Ryan Adams, of course, will be going to Rebellion. Here we go. Nani. 
And who's it gonna be? And nobody didn't even... Ryan, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna hit the go button again. There we go. Ryan Adams has been picked. Holy... That... that I, I apologize for that. My goodness. Okay, so now we are going... That's why there's a damn space in there. We are going to be adding our women to this list. So here we go. Our ladies being drafted. The first draft pick going to Uprising. Who's it going to be? We have quite a few women here on our roster. And it is going to be Malaysia. She is drafted to Uprising. The next person on Rebellion. A space again? You gotta be shitting me. Get out of here, space. Damn, what a pain in the butt this is with the spaces. Going to Rebellion, Amaya Fox. Amaya Fox has been drafted to Rebellion. Keeping it going here. Over to Uprising, it is gonna be Danielle Jane. All right, we haven't seen too much of Danielle Jane. Of course, our women's champion is Veronica Haas. You freaking space. And uh, Nina Letter. Nina Letter, um, still on the roster. We haven't seen much of her after the Blonde Beauty Club attacked her and kind of put her out of commission for a little bit. Faria, the Falcon Fury. She is drafted to Uprising. Moving along here. Oh, I gotta hit the button. Moving along here. Rebecca Evans, the other member of the Fallen Kingdom. She has been drafted to Rebellion. Now we have two and two. Interesting. We'll have to get with the commissioners of Rebellion and Uprising. Of course, I am the... Rebellion Commissioner Beverly Big Beverly Willis drafted to Uprising. Um, I will get with the Commissioner of Uprising and see if maybe we can make a few trades. Tag teams, women, things like that. Jessica headed over to Rebellion. The names, uh, the list is getting shorter and shorter here. As we remove names off the friggin' space. We see him flash across our screen. Keisha. She's drafted to Uprising. A lot of single named ladies on our roster here. Barbie Versace. She is moving to or staying, I should say, on Rebellion. I'm going to remove her from the list here. Keep it going. Who's next for Uprising? It is going to be. Ugh. It is going to be Selena. She is battling Veronica Haas at the pay-per-view for that women's championship, that maiden's championship. If she wins it, she's going to take that thing to Uprising with her princess. Coming to us from New York. Harlem, actually. Keeping it going here. Not too many names left. Ashley. Okay. The first member of the Blonde Beauty Club getting drafted over to Uprising. Brittany and Angelina Lane, the other two members of the Blonde Beauty Club, are they going to be drafted over? Who knows? Dawn Carr. Now her her better half, Duke Zenda, is on Uprising. How, how, we don't know how that all is going to work. We might do some trading later on. Angelina Lane looked out her and Ashley now on Uprising the only person left is Brittany now is Brittany going to get drafted to Rebellion or is she going to stay on Uprising who knows Jade Corzo the sister to the Tijuana family keeping it going here We're running out of names not too many names left Brittany moves to Uprising all three members of the Blonde Beauty Club have made it to Uprising. I think that might be the first set of, or the first team to be drafted to the same show. Quinn 
is staying on Rebellion. Veronica Haas. Mm. She's our current Rebellion champion. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to Man, I'm gonna have to bring her over to Rebellion, I think. Shoot. Alright. Next two picks going to Uprising. Pasadena. Followed by hopefully not a space. There's only uh looks like three people left at damn space. Only three people left, and it is gonna be Aliyah Marie. She is now on Uprising. Removing her name. We have Tiffany and Rogue and Jolly. Who's ne you gotta be kidding me with this. And the next person going. She is going to Rebellion. Followed by Tiffany going to Uprising. So, with that said, teams, people and teams, we have 52 overall. So, and it ended up working out 26 on both sides. Let me take a look at the teams here. So we have two, four, six, eight. Four teams on Rebellion. We have two, four, six, eight. Four teams on Uprising. Interesting. We have two teams coming in. So maybe we will have that set of tag titles, one for each show. That's five teams. I mean, there's not that many five, that many teams in real life. And as far as the women, we've got 12 on Uprising and 11 on Rebellion. So we, I think we just split it up. We have enough women and enough tag teams, I think, for each show to have their own, their own titles. We got two new titles coming, ladies and gentlemen. We got two new titles coming. With that said... I'm going to have to go back and look and see who got drafted to what shows. Veronica Hot. You know what? We'll just bring the new titles over to Uprising. Uprising is going to have all new titles. Rebellion, we will introduce those tag titles and have a tournament there. One lucky team's going to get uh going to get first round by, I think, for those tag titles. On both shows, actually. That's going to be interesting to see. All right. Well, folks, that is it. We managed uh, to do the draft. I'm pretty happy with it, I think. Everybody moving over to Uprising. If you had a rough start on Rebellion, I think this is a good thing. If you were stayed on Rebellion, then um, and a lot of those people moved over, I think you guys are going to have a great start. So Rebellion and Uprising draft has been made. Keep your eye out on Twitter. Keep your eye out on the website, SWFederation.com, for any news of trades between myself and the Uprising GM. His name is Jackson Montgomery. Keep an eye out on the website for anything uh, involving those two men and the two shows, Rebellion and Uprising. Guys, get those guys and gals, excuse me, get those calls um, updated with the, with the um, stats. Anything can be zero. Anything can be all the way up to the max as long as your overall is 85. And hopefully those people that are on the pay-per-view uh, that I messaged on Twitter, get those calls updated, get them in, and we will get Capital Combat going as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out and watching the draft. I have been CM Puma, and we'll see you at the pay-per-view.